What's going on? It's Obadi Samutupi. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the markets. You do know every Monday it's a market focused. And one thing that I like is that looking at the markets, I need you guys to be able to see a 3 that we took, what actually happened as well this week, what we're going to be benefiting on. And as well, guys, I've noticed that we are now on 240,000 subscribers um, on YouTube. So what happens is that we are our goal is to actually make it to 250,000 subscribers. And with your help, I know that we will get there. So make sure that you do abuse that subscribe button. But not only that, I know that you have subscribed. If you haven't, make sure that you hit it. But make sure that you also share my channel to other people that you know would be interested, that are interested in trading, making money, or anything that has to do about the financial markets or business as a whole. But on top of that, guys, obviously for you to be able to execute trades in the markets, you need a reliable broker. A broker that you can easily just move your funds into and know that they won't be running away the next day or the next week. And one thing that I found to be reliable is Triple AFX because I've been trading with them for over a year now. I'm excited with the progress. And on the next video that I'll be recording, I'll be showing you guys how you can deposit into because I know that we are all going to be depositing different types of amounts. Let's say you can deposit $10, someone can deposit 100 and another person $1,000, but it's all different. But one thing that I like is that the minimum deposit that they're actually taking is $10, which fits literally everyone whether you want to deposit a thousand dollars or ten dollars it fits you so i'll make sure that i leave the link of the first video because the first video i did go through the registration and as well the verification process and i left it where you have to deposit so we are going to be having a video on the next video it's going to be about the depositing process and one thing that i like is that you'll be seeing exactly how you can deposit and execute these trades that we'll be looking at now I literally have no idea what actually happened to my um, trading view platform because I just came back and I found out that like I'm back to the basic package. It's been over four years since I've been on the basic package because I always buy the annual. So I don't know what happened. Maybe my card, um, you know, something happened today. But I just bought like, you know, um, one thing, one package. Yes, yeah, session has been modified. Okay, because okay, I don't like ads. The reason I do that is because I do not like ads. Um, I noticed that when I was trying to um, analyze here, they kept on being ads that are coming up. So I do not like that. So yeah, let us take a look at this is a trade that we took the previous week. GBP, JPY, price came, we tested here. We bought somewhere here, it went up, went profits. And then I think we locked in some profits somewhere around here and then it took us out here. But eventually it went up and hit take profits. You can easily see this, but it's okay. Um, we understand that it's, uh, it's the markets. Obviously they move exactly that way. We're happy even, it's nothing major because what happens is that it shows us that we are on the right path. We are in the right direction. Because why? You can see that on the daily, we are now in an upward movement. It's been going all the way upwards every single day. So without we wasting time, we're not gonna be diving more deeper into why it's, why it's buying and all that because I believe that we covered the daily um, on the previous video, the last week's market overview. So what happens is that this is where we are now at because we're looking to actually even take profit um, last year. But I believe that with the way the price is moving, because you can see first touch, second touch, and now being here, third touch, and this engulfing candle, it shows that there's a lot of momentum to the upside though. So that trade that we thought was done, it's not done actually. It's even just getting started because looking at this, um, obviously I can see my first touch, second touch, my third touch is right here. That touch which is very clean and on top of that i can see where i'm at now so just by coming here all i have to do is to just renew okay let me remove this previous structure all i have to do is just look at this previous resistance right here resistance resistance and now here because you can see price resisted let me just do this price resisted price resisted price resisted and now it broke out so what i'm waiting for here is the 34 price to just come back retest somewhere around here and as soon as it retests that's when i'm more likely to take this buy position to the upside so i'm waiting for price to form some sort of a support and once it has formed support for me that's when i'm more likely to buy but for now i'm just going to leave a bit more with gbp JPY because i can see that it did impulse massively to the upside and it's not going to be right of me to buy here where it's at because just take a look at the movement it's the three year i'm close to uh resistance now because here you can see it was previous support was previous support previous support boom it came back and now it's resistant so i understand that here yes i can actually take a trade whereby it depends on how active i am on the charts i can take a trade and all i have to do is just like literally wait for those candlestick confirmations like maybe a double top or anything similar to that and i'm more likely to just take a sell and once i've got that sell i'm just have a 15 pip stop loss which is safe and my take profit would be here which is a close to a three percent let's see three percent that means 30 pip stop um 15 bit here so close to a three percent not that i meant i'm um, 45 
since it's three times more. So we'll just be looking at it. Obviously, it will be because of candlestick confirmation. I won't just sell now when it's moving up like this. I'll wait for the candlestick to confirm. Once it has rejected or confirmed anyhow, that's when I'm more likely to take it. But um, I'll just manage it for now. That is GBP, JPY. I wanted you guys to be able to see because the purpose of these um, Monday overviews is to show you guys the longer picture, the longer term picture, not just the 15 minute, not just the entry. I actually want to show you guys um, what's more likely to go on in the next few weeks i mean the next few days because you can see prices are already broken out from here this for our structure it as well retest the chest it means the price is still going all the way up to here back here all the way up to here okay? and there's our overall movement it's still targeting that 175051 level okay so that's gbp jpy let us take a look at us 30. so what's happening on us 30 is that um, we can simply see the price has been moving upwards. I love these pushes upwards, you know, fundamentals came through and they pushed price upwards. But now you can see where we at. We are now in sort of like a, we are now in a, um, okay, there we go. Okay. So what's happening is that we are now in a, uh, let me just remove this, remove this as well. We are now in a corrective phase and the reason i say so is because of how price is moving price is moving sideways and not even in a formal way because just take a look at this um if i may have my trend lines maybe i mean just put them like this put this as well more like this or maybe i can just have it here which is a bit more safe or fair or anything or even have it here it depends on what you want it already happened for me so it doesn't really matter where i put it but i want to show you guys where i'm coming from with this because what happens is that i may have this just like this and obviously it means that we had this beautiful impulse correction and now this impulse and what, what i'm more likely to do is that i'm more likely to study right here i'm more likely to see what actually is going down here because i can see impulse and sort of like a corrective phase here but here you can see the price is sort of like in a corrective phase so what what what, what i'm more likely to do is just have my trend line be more like this and have yeah be more like this and as well, I can just become a bit more steeper with it just so I can find that entry, that quicker entry that's going to allow me to be able to have a great risk compared to reward, which is somewhere more similar to right here. So what happens is that with this that I'm seeing here, um, I've got this impulse correction. So now we are in this impulsive leg. So I'm just waiting for price to break out. It's either. So what happens is that it's either I'm waiting for price to break out of here. Boom, right here. Okay press to break out of here and then I'm more likely to buy or if I'm looking for a sell that means I might I might say that I'm waiting for press to break below here and I'm, I'm gonna sell so what happens is that you can only sell if price is broken and closed below here just like something like this that's when you can sell looking at your take profit be maybe somewhere around here five percent but as well even with the buyers you can as well maybe look into buying when price is actually closed above here and your stop loss obviously being below here and looking at it we are now looking at over six percent six point three percent which is much more better compared to the buyers this the, the, the sellers i mean the buyers are much more better compared to sellers which is something that i love but there's a trade that i'm actually looking at and i'm much more to go with the buyers compared to the sellers because i have much more um, evidence that with buying i'm more profitable but that is us 30 for now let us take a look at us 500 and end it with us 500 boom okay us 500 let us take a look okay so let me just move this uh okay let's see this right here okay so price you can simply see the price previous resistant right here previous resistant it broke out it came back tested as a support so what i'm looking for now is that it's not too clear in terms of me being able to you know make a decision of where i'm trying to go at because remember i'm not trying to guess if i'm going to be buying or selling but i'm trying to actually you know be able to just know why it's buying or why it's selling if it is buying or selling because why just take a look at this it's moving up as higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows lower lows lower highs lower lows it's basically just i'm in a corrective state because even here impulse correction impulse but look at what's actually going on right here so what i'm more likely to do is that maybe i may just take my fib from here to here I just take a look at where it has retraced so far so i can see from here all the way up to here it has retraced till here the 50 percent 
level. It went all the way down to a 50% level. And one thing that I like is that um, with us, we actually do happen to teach in our private um, mentorship program multiple strategies because with this, automatically something just shows me and I was like, advance the strategy. And this could be a bad pattern. Let me just show you guys what I mean. Um, by this, I mean that, you know, from the X leg till the A leg, um, we can see and to find the, the, the it's X leg, A leg, to find the B leg, we need to allow price to be at the 50%, which is here. And now this is the C leg and we're looking for the D leg. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to say this is the X, this is the A, A right here, this is B, boom, B. Perfect. It shouldn't be below 61.8, which is amazing. And as well, looking for the C and D. So what happens is that the C would start, yeah, this is the B, C, right here, C and D which would be anyway at the 88.6 which is right here and once this is happening um what i'm more likely to do is maybe we just place a buy limit buy limit here and my stop loss would be very nicely tight which is normally just a few points below which is right here i'm more likely to leave it here and my first take profit would be at the zero um 100 percent or zero if i may say it that way and as well we are going all the way up to here which i believe we can capture somewhere around eight percent but it's more likely you know it's it's also about price this is like if price happens to go all the way down to here i'm more likely to buy it here because even if you can see me if i can just extend this you can see that it's literally at entry it's literally at entry but even if that doesn't happen maybe you find out that price wants to move as quickly as possible but i won't try to be in a rush with this like if price wants to move as quick as possible you can easily just maybe look for buys somewhere here going up with it even if it goes down you know that it's minus one percent then you'll take another entry here but i think for me i'll just rather take this buy on us 30 compared to um right now on us 500 and then i'm more likely to go with it but yeah i see it being a signal a better one even um i'll just have to confirm on a smaller time frame but let me just make sure that i do send it out to my private signal members and as well guys we are running at 50 percent off on our private um signals group and as well on our private mentorship group all you can do is just hit the link in the description take a, take advantage of it or you can go to the forestseasons.com website as soon as you do when you're checking out just make sure that you apply the coupon which is black friday once you apply the coupon code black friday it will automatically take away 50 percent from whatever that you're getting and i'm excited that you'll be able to benefit from as well being able to just learn grow improve become a better individual of yourself and make sure that you also do check out the video that i did mention in terms of you registering and as well verifying your accounts so on the next video when we are depositing in our premium accounts i need you to be one of those people that are actually going to be depositing with me so let's do this guys so i'll see you guys in the next YouTube video so by you someone to make sure that you like comment tell me what you're looking at and as well subscribe because we are trying to reach 250,000 250,000 subscribers